to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to deal with negative people and influences and the things that I personally do and use in my life to stay positive through those things. Now, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a health professional. These are just things that I've used over the years that help me in my life. And I just wanted to share them with you. So if this is something that you're interested in, please keep watching. So I actually had a different topic for today um, that I actually talked to my mom about, something that we were talking about, and kind of shifted gears just due to everything going on in the world, just some things I've been feeling. I just felt like today's topic is very relevant in our world today and super, super important. And if I can share something that helps me, that could help someone else, why the heck not? This topic's been weighing on my heart and I just felt the need to get it out there. So my whole life, I've been known as a nice, kind, positive, happy-go-lucky person. And to those that don't know me well, that may just seem like that's all I am and that's all I am all the time. Um, no. <laughs> this kind of came up because there's something really heavy going on in my life I'm not going to get into because I will get super emotional and it's not something I want to talk about right now or yet. And I was at work one day and someone's like, oh, you're in a good mood. And I'm like, yeah, I am. But I didn't wake up feeling that way. I've come to notice that if I'm a little off or if I'm not smiling throughout the day, someone notices, which is fine. But my point in this video is that positivity is a choice. It comes down to a choice. I don't always wake up in the morning and I'm super excited and ready to go for the day. I'm actually not a morning person anyway. So I just kind of want to break down some things that help me with staying positive, even if I don't wake up feeling amazing. So each morning, we all have to make an active decision to wake up and decide that we're gonna find the best in situations and the people that we come across. We all have to kind of check our heart and check our mood throughout the day to make sure that we're not spreading more negativity into the world than it already has. It's important that we practice and recognize our tone with people. You know, if you wake up in a really bad mood, wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and someone says something, just don't take it out on them. Kind of reflect and feel how you're feeling and recognize it before going out into your day and projecting that on others. I think it was one of my first jobs when I worked retail actually. My boss, she had a saying, leave your problems at the door. I'm sure plenty of people have heard that. But that's something that's always stuck with me and I think that's why people, you know, always think I'm so happy and whatever, which I am. I'm ultimately a pretty, I try to be a positive person. But when I go to work, when I do anything, you know, with like friends or I'm out in public, I do remind myself that, you know, if you have anything bad going on in your life, unless you're venting about it, leave it at the door. If you drag that into your day, that's just good. That's not gonna work. So just each morning, just kind of do a self check and make sure that you're good to go for the day. The more positive you train yourself to be, the less you will take in and allow negativity to affect you. That's why I kind of brought up checking yourself in the morning and making sure that you're you're good for the day. Because if you walk into your day and you're in a horrible mood and someone says something negative to you or you see something negative online or on TV, that's just gonna keep bringing you down throughout your day, throughout your entire day. So if you wake up and you tell yourself it's gonna be a great day and you know, I'm. I also have to practice what I preach. These are th just things that I do. They don't always work, because I sometimes don't allow them to, but they are great things to remember. And my husband helped me with this a lot as well. The more positive you are, the less negativity will rule your life. It's something huge to remember, and it's hard to remember when someone is hurting you. People hurt when they are hurt. People are not gonna be cruel if they're not fighting an internal battle. They're not gonna be cruel for no reason if they're not struggling inside. When you understand this about people, the less you'll take things personally. This is something I've had to learn throughout my whole life. I'm, I'm very empathetic. I'm a very sensitive person. So these are things I'm still learning every single day. If you take everything personally, it's just a downward spiral. So sometimes you just have to remind yourself if someone is hurting, 
you, it's because they're hurting inside. It's very important to have empathy for others. If I see someone bullying online or, you know, with everything going on in the world, everybody's angry. It just seems like everybody is so angry right now, rightfully so in some situations, but I don't think a lot of people know how to handle those feelings and it's important to have empathy for everyone you come in contact with, everyone in your life every single day. Someone could have just gotten terrible news and they cut you off in traffic on accident and you start cussing them out and going off on them and raising your voice and that just, that's all it took for them to just completely lose it. Just be kind throughout the day and you have no idea what one tiny little act of kindness can do for someone's day. It could literally make their entire day, make their entire week. So just have empathy for others. I know it's hard when people are mean, but if someone's mean, it is because they're hurting. I did mention I'm a very empathetic person. That's something that I do appreciate about myself is that, you know, if a friend is struggling and coming to me, I'm, I'm gonna take on their feelings and that's a great thing, but it makes you feel a lot all the time. So if you're not naturally that way, Maybe just try and see what that's like and then just try and feel how other people feel. Maybe you can understand their situation a little bit better and not take things so personally with how they treat you. And with that, it is important to eliminate the negative sources. So if you have a friend in your life that is constantly bringing you down, is just constantly a, a negative source of energy in your life, you may need to look into that and see why you're still hanging around that person. You know, as you grow up, you lose a lot of friends and you meet a lot more people, but there were a few instances I had to kind of cut ties with people because of that. Because I am generally a positive person and they are always negative and they were always bringing my mood down and always saying negative things, I it was draining on me. And I brought up in a couple of my other Girl Talk videos that I have always struggled with depression and being around people like that when you're already going through a mental illness that's probably one of the worst things that you can do and I didn't realize that at the time I realize that now now I su surround myself with amazing people but you just got to see if someone or something is bringing a lot of negativity into your life and see if that's something you can remove <laughs> as mean as that may sound it's important. And also, if you're online reading a lot of things that are making you feel worse, step away. Maybe get rid of your Facebook for a while. I, I'm considering that right now. Just stay away from negativity. <laughs> and with that, I have a few steps that I use to stay positive. A grateful heart is a happy heart. And I don't currently have a gratitude journal. I need to get a new one. Um, I had one when I was younger. But if you're not familiar, a gratitude journal is basically a journal you can keep, you can buy several off Amazon, there's some really cute ones, or you could just use a regular empty notebook at home, and ultimately you write one thing every single day that you're grateful for. It can be short, it can be long, but after you do that, in the morning or at night, I always sit it at night, it just makes you feel lighter, it just makes you realize that if you're in a rut or if you're having a bad day, look back at this journal, look at all the things that, that you have in your life that are positive, that are great, that you're grateful for. And you'll be amazed at how much you've written down. I used to do one that was 365 days. At the end of the year, you can look back at it and be like, wow, I am blessed. So that is one thing I recommend if you do not have one. There are also a couple of books that I've read that were great for me at the time, and I will go back to them and read them um, when I can. And the first one, don't mind my <laughs> Walgreens bookmark, is called Resisting Happiness. I'm Matthew Kelly. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am a Christian, so these are both Christian books. But this book is amazing. Uh, it talks about the things that we do that block us from being happy and the things that we can do to get us to being happy again. So highly, highly recommend it. This is on Amazon. And the next book is called Unseen by Sarah Haggerty. I actually have not finished this book. Um, I believe this is another Christian author though. <laughs> Um, and it says, the gift of being hidden in the world that's, that loves to be noticed. So if you're feeling drained by the world around you and social media and just BS <laughs> and you want to just kind of get back to a good start, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. So guys, like I said, I don't know everything. These are just things that I 
implement in my daily life. You know, it's important to keep positive people around you, positive influences. Negativity is just not worth it in this world. There's too much of it to surround yourself with more of that. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for everybody that's been supporting me. It's been really fun to kind of start this. I started this at the beginning of quarantine just as you know, just for fun, and it's been really cool to see people interact, and I've been meeting a lot of more people through YouTube, um, so I want to thank you guys for, for supporting me. If you guys have any future topics that you'd want me to discuss, please let me know in the comments down below, um, and I'll respond and might choose one of your topics. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you guys want to see how I got this mermaid style braid, um, I will be posting a video next week about quick summer hairstyles, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys next week.